Hi, this is Eric Martin with Morgan Geek. I'm here with Martin Terrier from WYSIWYG Games, yep. looking at Planet of the Apes, the miniatures board game, uh, elaborate setup that they have here, and you've been running demos I'd seen throughout the weekend. Yeah, definitely. It's a lot involved, uh, and you carried a lot of pieces over here to yep. show us how to play. <clears throat> um, so what is the setup? I think most people are familiar with the world of Planet of the Apes or the idea of it. So what is going on? Are, are we the apes? Are we the people? Or how does it work? We are going to play the apes, all of us. And uh, this is a cooperative game. Each player is going to play uh, a group of apes in Caesar's armies, okay. led uh, by a chimpanzee leader. And you will have uh, different type of apes with uh, different capacities. And uh, we are fighting against uh, the uh, human special forces. Um, and um, the humans are actually controlled uh, by the game, uh, mm -hmm. thanks to a uh, NORA system uh, that will tell us uh, this turn they're going to uh, move here, attack here, and so on. Okay. Um, the game is scenario based, so uh, you will have different missions, a lot of them, and uh, these missions will tell you, uh, well, uh, in this scenario, um, you are going to try to uh, achieve such and such objective, and uh, the humans are going to try to prevent you from doing that. Okay. Or the other way around. Okay. Uh, so are we set up for anything in particular here? Are we showing off the pieces? We are or? mostly showing uh, the pieces. Okay. <clears throat> So what would be an example of a scenario? At the, end of the, the scenario one? we've uh, demoed um, for the weekend, for example, is one where uh, human forces are trying to uh, cross the board to attack Caesar's camp, mm -hmm. and uh, the apes are trying to prevent them from doing that. And to do that, uh, they are trying to build uh, pyres from wood and then light them a fire, uh, a light, okay. uh, to create a wall of fire that will push the humans back. Okay. And this um, actually allows us to show different things. Um, first, uh, there are actions in the game that are not uh, fight-based. You are going to do different things right. uh, that uh, have, have you uh, building stuff, uh, breaking stuff, uh, and so on, and not just shooting at the humans. Right. And uh, then the idea is also uh, during the game, uh, your apes are going to evolve, like you see in the movies. So you are going to start with apes with uh, limited capacities, and uh, during the game, with, uh, when they roll uh, certain results on the dice, uh, they have the opportunity to evolve and uh, gain some new actions that are more complex. Okay. So maybe we can give examples of that. What do I have as a player in the game? and what would I be doing on a turn? Basically, your turn is uh, you uh, choosing a card, uh, which is an order card, okay. uh, from a deck. And you have uh, as many cards as there are uh, turns uh, in the game. Okay. So if we're playing a uh, turn game, yeah. So no, no. Well, I'm just saying I have that many cards, yeah. and that's it. One each turn, and yeah. done. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, what are examples of orders? I don't know if you want to show them here or, or lay well, out ideas. Or? Basically, you have, um, I'll just use uh, the prototypes. Uh, you have three different types of orders. Okay. Okay. This is a move order, and uh, it's, um, it's all in the name. Basically, it lets you tell an ape to go there. Okay. Um, this is an attack order. This is pretty clear, too. You're going to attack a human. And this is an action order, and this is what I was talking about. Like, uh, building a pyre, you need two action orders. Um, picking rocks for a gorilla to throw at the humans, that's uh, one action order. Uh, trying to tear down a fence or to build a bridge, that's uh, action orders, that kind of stuff. Okay. So it's very mission-based. Okay. Um, you have other examples of what the AI, AI is going to do? Uh, the AI, How that's going to work? Well, <clears throat> it's uh, working on the same basis. Um, as you can see, mm. each turn uh, to activate one uh, squad of soldiers, they're going to use an um, order card of its own. And um, they also have uh, move orders, shoot orders, and uh, action orders. And as you can see, there are symbols that are going to tell you well, they are moving towards the objective um, because of the paperclip here. Um, they are shooting at the nearest threat zone. Okay. Um, and they're doing uh, any kind of action they have available. Um, <clears throat> and they could also uh, be well, that's not a good example, but they could be moving toward the nearest threat rather than their objective, uh, um, based on the card they drawn, actually. Right. Um, and so nobody gets to choose anything for the humans. The game really tells you, okay, they are moving here, then they are shooting those guys or those guys. 
Um, and um, yeah, that's it. Okay, but you can anticipate that because you know the rules of the game and you know Definitely. what's possible mm -hmm. in the order deck. You know, you, are, you know what kind of actions they, they, they can take and uh, you have to bet um, they're going to shoot rather at uh, low, minis, low threat uh, targets or high threat targets. Um, because one thing that is very important and that's integral to uh, the gameplay, there are trees in the game and there will be three trees in the core box and uh, only the apes can get up into the trees and right. that is important because um, the basically the, the board uh, on the ground is very uh, is supposed to be very cluttered that's in weir woods uh, very dense woods uh, and so when you're on the ground you don't you, you mostly don't see anything okay. while when you're in the tree with the apes you see pretty much everything Okay. And so right. there is uh, a kind of asymmetric gameplay where the humans are going to uh, move only on the ground and they mostly don't see the apes, um, but they can check where there are threats when they get attacked and you're going to place uh, threat tokens on a square uh, when an ape attacks from there. And the next time um, the soldiers are going to activate, they're probably going to shoot at that square. Right. <laughs> and the okay. interesting thing is um, they know there is a threat, but they can't see the apes. So um, you could completely uh, attack with an ape, shoot a soldier, then move away, and the soldiers are still going to attack um, that square. So this is very guerrilla inspired. Okay, all right. Uh, anything else I didn't ask about that you wanted to mention? Um, uh, uh, player count, for example? Is it one to, th to four players okay. with the Kovacs. Okay, and about uh, playing time for a scenario? Well, well basically, uh, for two players, uh, we are uh, around 45 minutes, maybe one hour, okay. and uh, it gets up to one hour and a half if you're playing four players. Okay. All right. Anything else? Um, <clears throat> they're uh, actually not... Uh, well, some of them are on the board. Um, you will have the opportunity not to play the heroes of the films, but uh, to call them to your aid, and they will come for one turn, uh, and uh, you will have... Um, Fan favorites like, of course, uh, Caesar, but uh, also Luca, Rocket, uh, Maurice, and um, based on the char character uh, you are calling to your aid, they will have uh, various uh, effects uh, on the other apes. Right. And the one thing I also want to say is uh, we're going to there's going to be uh, this core box that's based on the uh, last trilogy of movies. But there is there will also be an additional. Um, game box that will actually be based on the classic license uh, where you have uh, characters like um, Cornelius, Zayas, uh, Zara and so on and um, in this uh, game that, which is a standalone actually um, you're going to play as the humans because that's the focus of these uh, films and series right. and uh, trying to uh, cross ape territory to go to uh, well the beach where they will discover that yes things things aren't what you think all right, thank you very much, Martin. We're an overview of Planet of the Apes, the board, miniatures board game uh, coming from WYSIWYG Games uh, to Kickstarter in late February 2019. Uh, retail release before the end of the year is planned, uh, or another well, year? We're hoping for that, but uh, probably... Uh, Next con. Yeah. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome.